Good morning friends. Welcome to Pannika Tutorials YouTube channel. In this video, I want to discuss another example on LR0 items and LR0 parsing table construction. So that whatever the doubts you have, all the doubts will be cleared. And here I want to discuss one important point. Lot of students will confuse. So that point I want to discuss with this example. So I request everyone to watch the complete video. So I have taken a grammar E determines E plus T or T, T determines I. Can you identify what are the non-terminals are there? The non-terminals from this grammar is E comma T. Am I right or wrong? What are the terminals? The terminals are plus comma I are the terminals. Is it clear? What is the start symbol? E is the start symbol. Now what I have to do, first I need to construct the LR0 items. So E dash determines dot E, we will take the extra one and we will compute the closer. As you have dot E, you need to take the productions E determines dot E plus T dot T. I hope it is visible for you because after dot there is a non-terminal so you need to compute the closer so you need to look at the productions and take those productions and keep dot in front of it now again there is a dot and t is it clear are you able to understand now lot of people will confuse this one again you have a dot e so again we will write e determines dot e plus t or t they will write am i right or wrong you have a E determines dot E. Again, we have to write. Now, these two productions are same or not? Yes, they are same. If you look at it, so this is repeated. We no need to write it again. This is one important point. Again, I want to discuss another important point also. Now, if you look at it, T determines dot I will come. Why it will come? Because you have a dot T, which is a non-terminal. If it is a non-terminal, you need to write the production of it and keep a dot in front of it. So this is what I naught. Okay, this is our I naught. Now let me compute the on E what will happen. E determines, okay, E dot will come because we are computing the go to of I naught comma E. So wherever dot E is there, you need to consider them and you need to shift it. So E dot. And again dot E is there, so it will be E determines E dot, okay, plus T will come. I hope it is visible for you, okay. So this is our completed. Then you can ask me, sir, why you have not computed the closer here? Because after dot there is a terminal. If it is a terminal, we will not compute the closer. And we can say that this is our item number I1. And this on T, what will happen? E determines T dot is our item number 2. Similarly, on small i, what will happen? T determines I dot it will happen. So this is our item number 3. So we have computed the go to on E, on T and I. Is it clear? So E determines T dot is a reduce move, T determines dot I is reduce move. So I2 and I3 are finished. Now we need to look at on this one what will happen. Lot of people will get at this doubt. Sir, this is a reduce move, E dash determines dot E is a reduce move and this is a shift move because E determines E dot plus is there. So this is a shift move, this is a reduce move. They will think that it is a SR conflict and they will stop this process and they will say that the given grammar cannot be parsed using LR0 parser. If you are thinking like that, you are doing the mistake. Is it clear? Why it so that this is a production in the given grammar? No, we have taken extra. Why? To terminate the parser. When? Because we need to terminate the algorithm am i right parsing is an algorithm so we need to stop it somewhere so this augmented production we have taken for terminate the 
procedure or when it should accept the string am i right so this is an extra one so which will not create the conflict why it so that this shift move i will write on action part of the terminal plus am i right or wrong is it clear because this is if you look at it i will write the plus then you will look at it it will be on the shift operation is happening on the plus but when we will where we will write this reduce move we will write it on the dollar so this is happening on the dollar this is happening on the plus so don't think that it is an sr conflict is it clear i hope you have understood now okay so now i1 on plus what will happen i1 on plus it will be e determines okay e plus dot t is it clear are you able to understand it or not now again you have the dot t again you need to compute the closer which is t determines dot i is it clear are you able to understand it or not is it clear t determines dot i is there now this is what i will keep this is my item number 4 i4 okay now again i need to compute on t what will happen e determine e plus t dot am i right or wrong so this is a reduce move i will write it as i5 on i they will write on i what will happen it is t determines t dot i lot of people will do this mistake they will think that it is a new one and they will write it as i6 then they will say that totally we have seven items from i0 to i7 if you are doing that one again you are doing a mistake why already you have a such item called t determines i dot again why should you write instead of writing again or if you are writing again consider this as i3 only are you able to understand this is not a new item this is the old item is it clear so totally we have only six items from the given grammar is it clear let me i think by this one i know, think you know how to construct the lr0 parsing table so i will not draw the entire parsing table instead of that one what i will do is that okay i will write this case only so that you will understand what is the problem whether you are thinking it is an sr conflict why it is not a sr conflict you will understand is it clear so we have constructed the lr0 items now instead of drawing the lr0 parsing table for all the items i will draw only for the item number i1 is it clear let me take the item number i1 then we will have the action part in the action part what you will consist of you will consist of the terminals and the dollar what are the terminals are there plus c is there i is there and dollar is there okay and consider the go to part what is the go to part consists of go to part consists of non terminals which is e and t is it clear now look at the i1 i1 there is a reduce move as it is an augmented production we will write that accept symbol in the only dollar place so you will write the accept here okay now from i1 on plus you went to i4 which is nothing but shift 4 okay which is shift 4 are you able to understand it or not now if you look at here you have a shift entry here you have a accept entry which is not a conflict at all so if you are thinking that this is an sr conflict because it is a reduce move it is a shift move then you are doing a mistake because it is not a sr conflict because you does not get the multiple entries in remaining places obviously you will not get the multiple entries if you want you can check it also let's take that i3 item let me write here i3 item what how it will looks i3 item is a reduced move what is the production number production number is 1 2 and 3 now it is a i3 and it is a reduced move and production number 3 so what you will write you will write the reduced move in the all the terminals of the action part so you will write r3 
R3, R3 in the terminals of the action part. Am I right or wrong? Similarly, if you look at it is uh, I5. Let me discuss about I5. I5, is it clear? I5, how it will look as it is a reduced move and the production number is 1. So, you will write R1, R1, R1 like this. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? So, I can say that as we does not find any SR conflicts and also RR conflicts and I can say that this grammar can be parsed using LR0 item. Sorry, LR0 parser. Is it clear? This grammar can be parsed using LR0 parser. I hope you have understood with the concept. What are the concepts I have discussed in this example? If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.